planets better than the Earth are finally discovered by scientists. There are hundreds of millions of exoplanets out there, and more are discovered every day. There isn't a planet like ours anywhere in the universe that we are aware of, but now scientists say they have found exoplanets that could be more habitable than the Earth. However, the question remains as to whether or not these exoplanets actually do exist. Before we do the reveal, be sure to like and subscribe to this video so we can update you with the most informative content across the globe. Planets that circle stars outside of our solar system are referred to as extrasolar planets or exoplanets. Extrasolar planets are also known simply as planets. The size of an exoplanet can range from that of a gas giant comparable to Jupiter to that of a small rocky planet comparable to Mars or the Earth. A relatively small portion of the Milky Way galaxy contains the majority of the known planets. This region is known as the local group. Because of the findings of the Kepler Space Telescope, which is operated by NASA, we are aware that there are many more planets than there are stars. The first exoplanets were not discovered by scientists until the 1990s, since then, we have found many more using a broad variety of approaches, nonetheless, it is still not an easy task to locate them all. The Kepler Space Telescope of the United States Space Agency spent nine years on a planet-hunting mission and identified thousands of these exoplanets in our galaxy before it ran out of fuel in 2018. After going through all the data Kepler collected, those 300 million rocky planets could be capable of supporting liquid water on their surface. Kepler ran out of fuel in 2018. The actual number of potentially habitable exoplanets is unknown at this moment, Therefore this is simply a preliminary estimate of how many there could be. There are at least 300 million planets that have the capacity to support life. You might think that all you need is a telescope to find them, but in reality, this method has only been used to find a very small number of exoplanets. Instead, the majority of exoplanets have been discovered by using the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star caused by a planet passing in front of it. Exoplanets can also be found by measuring the light spectrum of a star for signs of a planet pulling on the star, which causes first discovered by the HARPS telescope in 2016 Proxima b is the closest alien exoplanet to our solar system at 4.2 light years from Earth. It lies in the habitable zone of its red dwarf star Proxima Centauri and was thought to be a minimum of 1.3 Earth masses, but that estimate has been revised downward. A massive solar flare had erupted from the red dwarf star Proxima Centrali that was 1,000 times brighter than the star itself. It hit Proxima b with 4,000 times more ultraviolet radiation than the Earth would get from a solar flare from our Sun, and researchers believe that this could have wiped out any life on the planet. In the same year, scientists believed that the planet could be habitable and that future generations of superfast spacecraft could travel to the planet in search of life. Rene Heller and John Armstrong, both of whom were researchers in 2014, are the ones who came up with the term superhabitable. According to what they found, it is not enough for an exoplanet to be located in the habitable zone of its parent star for it to be considered habitable. Now, scientists are reporting that they have found 24 super-livable planets or exomoons that may be more suitable for the origin and development of life factors on a planet that would make it more conducive for life as we know it imply that the planet is probably older, larger, warmer, and wetter than it is presently. They might also have higher oxygen content, and the stars in these systems might have a longer lifespan. Because radioactive decay in the planet's interior would continue for longer to provide heat and the stronger gravity would hold on to the atmosphere for longer, Heller and Armstrong hypothesized that the required size of a super-Earth would have to be two Earth masses. This was due to the fact that a larger planet would have a longer lifespan. These 24 extremely habitable exoplanets were selected because their host stars have a lifespan appropriate for their size and they are located within the habitable zone. The vast majority of these alien worlds are revolving around G-dwarf stars, which are stars that are quite comparable to the Sun. However, the researchers also sought for exoplanets that revolved around K stars as a secondary target. Dwarf stars with an orange hue are similar to the Sun but have lower temperatures, less mass, 
and a lower luminosity than yellow dwarf stars. In the Milky Way, there are approximately one in every 500 yellow dwarfs and one in every 500 orange dwarfs. In spite of the fact that these sun-like stars might not seem like the best places for life, they actually have a substantial benefit. Their potential lifespans can vary anywhere from 17 billion to 70 billion years, which is substantially longer than the 10 billion years that our sun has been around. If life had originally come into existence on a planet that was orbiting a K-star, then it would have had a great deal longer time to evolve than it has had thus far on Earth. It took around 3.5 billion years for complex life to evolve on Earth, and it took approximately 4 billion years for advanced life, such as humans, to evolve. These extraordinarily habitable worlds would also have a higher gravity and a denser atmosphere, which would make it easier for life-sustaining organisms to disperse across the surface and start new communities. Planetary scientists have determined that the ideal age range for a super-livable exoplanet is anywhere between 5 and 8 billion years old. Water is essential to the continued existence of life in its current form on any planet that is even remotely livable. It is more likely for planets to have liquid water on their surfaces if they have a higher amount of moisture and more volcanoes. There is a possibility that the climates of several of these possibly livable worlds could be comparable to those that prevailed on Earth during the early Carboniferous period. This period lasted roughly 359 million years ago and was distinguished by the presence of tropical rainforests. The superhabitable exoplanet Gliese 667 cubic centimeters, which orbits a red dwarf star in the Gliese 667 triple star system, is the next closest superhabitable exoplanet to Earth. If you were to stand on Gliese 667 cubic centimeters, you would most likely see three stars in the sky at any given time, even during the middle of the day. At least 3.7 times the mass of Earth, Gliese 667 cubic centimeters can be found 23.62 light years away from our home planet. Planet Kepler 452b orbits a G-type star, which is quite similar to our Sun, with the exception that the G-type star is 1.5 billion years older and slightly larger. There may have been an ancient civilization on the exoplanet or the moon that orbits it, but it's also possible that we're seeing a glimpse of the future fate of Earth because the star that it orbits has run out of fuel and is expanding. Some authors speculate that there may have been an ancient civilization on the exoplanet or the moon that orbits it. Kepler 452b is frequently referred to as Earth. It will be the largest observatory that has ever been launched into orbit, and it will use highly specialized, cutting-edge optical science and engineering to peek into the unknown. The James Webb Telescope will travel approximately 940,000 miles away from Earth, which is far further than the Moon's orbit. Once it arrives at its destination, it will set up shop there and begin orbiting the Sun. Even with all of this incredible technology, a planet orbiting a red dwarf that has an atmosphere comparable to Earth's will need to be within 16 light years of the star in order for it to be detected by the James Webb Telescope. If this signal was found in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, it would mean that the planet has oxygen and possibly life as we know it on the surface of the planet. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to detect a new type of object, according to the researchers who created a new method. The most fascinating aspect is that it will be able to capture direct photos of extrasolar planets, which is something that cannot currently be done from our own planet of Earth. However, the primary objective of its mission is to investigate the interior of the Milky Way galaxy, where it may discover hundreds of more exoplanets through the process of gravitational microlensing. In the event that we do discover life beyond our planet, it is imperative that we do not lose sight of the fact that the cosmos is both intriguing and extremely varied, and the ideal location for life, such as highly livable worlds, may not exist. Did you like this video? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.